Yesterday, Fort Wayne police shot a man. They say he'd raised what turned out to be a replica gun at officers. Tonight, Yari Cabin's fiance is speaking out only to News Channel 15. She says the young man did not try to harm police. News Channel 15's Aisha Husney is live in Studio 15 tonight with her side of the story. Mark, Alana Jones and her four-month-old son saw the whole thing happen. They were inside the apartment when police showed up to check out a report of a man with a handgun. When that man, her fiancé, answered the door, police say he raised a gun at them. But Jones says that's not what she saw. I just feel hurt and I feel numb. Wearing the same clothes, holding her baby the same way, Alana Jones remembers the day police shot and killed her fiancé. I was not expecting him to die that day or for somebody to come kill him. She says Yari Caven was holding the mail when he answered a loud banging on the door. When the police came in, they told him, put your hands on the wall. The officers shouted several times for him to put the weapon down. It's fake, and I told the police, it's fake, look at the gun, it's fake. An officer fired a gunshot. I said, you shot him, you shot him. Caven fell to the ground. It just happened so fast, and then I, I saw the blood on his shirt. These officers yesterday reacted appropriately, reacted uh, exactly how they were trained. Police Chief Rusty York says Supervising Officer Mark Dolezal fired at Caven because he raised a gun at officers. Anytime somebody points a weapon at an officer, it's a lethal force situation. But Jones says the gun that turned out to be a look-alike was in Caven's pocket that he was just trying to hand it over to police. He did not point a gun at anyone. He pulled it out of his pocket and immediately they grabbed his arm. Everyone wants to know why he was carrying this lookalike gun. He plays with it. He plays with the BBs. He played. That's what he, he that's his only thing he has to do besides watching him. This plaything is now the reason why tonight an officer is coping with taking someone's life and why a mother has to explain to her son one day why his father isn't there. He was a good father. He was good to me. Nobody would expect him to have to go like that. Tonight, three separate investigations are underway over this incident. Meantime, Officer Dolezal is on administrative leave for five days. It's offered to officers who go through a traumatic incident. Live in, in Studio 15 tonight, I'm Aisha Husney, News Channel 15. One